Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tiger Productions back with another video. And I just want to talk about two players, Seth Lugo and James McCann. And basically, what I'm trying to say, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is cut fucking both of them. Get rid of them. They're both garbage. First off, okay, let's start with James McCann. One of the worst catchers in the league, in my opinion. He's batting 170-something. His defense is not that great. Is that the reason why we're keeping him? Because his defense is not that great. It's not any better than Tomas Nito. And Tomas Nito is probably a better hitter than James McCann. So why, so why would, are we keeping James McCann in the starting lineup and why is he still on the team? If you replace Francisco Alvarez with James McCann, Francisco Alvarez would be doing it better in the major leagues than James McCann would be doing in the minor leagues. James McCann would have worse numbers in the minor leagues than Francisco Alvarez is doing it in, in the minor leagues right now. I'm calling that now. If that happens, that won't happen, obviously. They're not going to bring James McCann to, to AAA. They're either, they're either going to cut him or bench him. But they, they, just, they just have to... They just have to to fucking get rid of this guy. James Kent is garbage. He sucks. He hasn't been good since we signed him. All right? His defense is is decent. It's not it's not good enough to keep him for the keep him for this lo fucking long. So that's that, that's well, that's my James Kent rant. Um next up Seth Lugo. And I will give Seth Lugo some credit. All right? 2019 he carried a horrible Mets bullpen. In 2019, he was the best part of their trash bullpen. He was probably one of the best relievers in baseball at that time. So, credit to him. But ever since the Mets made him a starter in 2020, he has been awful. He had a terrible starting season. Um, 20, and 2021 was a mediocre year. And now we're here this year. Where I never trust him when, he re when he's on the mound. Never trust him when he's pitching. He gives, he's a guaranteed run. He gives a guaranteed run every time he steps onto the mound. For example, last night, did he only recorded one out because of a sacrifice fly that ended the game. Now, I know it's not on him because the Mets offense was garbage last night. But, you know, you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. All right? Seth Lugo stinks. All right? He's not good. He's not good anymore. He's not the same guy. His curveball is not hitting it anymore. It's not. It's not fooling anybody anymore. The first pitch he threw a curveball. It went. It almost hit um, Tommy Pham with it. It almost hit Tommy Pham right in the face. He's not. He. He's. He. He's not there. He, he's not that guy anymore. He's not good. He's not one of the. He's not the best reliever on the team. He's not even close. Um, but once again, I'll give him credit for 2019 for him closing and clustering up, carrying, carrying the Mets bullpen to, to wins. Cause obviously, you no, know, that's what Edwin Diaz was horrible. That's when every Mets fan wanted Edwin Diaz out of there. But you know, nowadays Seth Lugo, he saw now they, they've pretty much reversed. Seth Lugo's the horrible one. And Edwin Diaz is the good one. Now they, they've reversed, they reversed. It's like thunderstruck. With Kevin Durant and that high school kid, they went, they, they switched powers, and now they're now Edward Diaz is great, and South Lugo is terrible. So I just want to make that rant video, get that out of the way. So yeah, cut Seth Lugo, cut James McCann. They're both garbage, or at least get rid of them. Um, that that's 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 all I gotta say. Um, yeah, cut Lugo and McCann. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.